Welcome fellow mobile gaming fanatics, my time here bringing you another top drives event and let's just jump in straight away okay I want to get as much of the content done as I can as quick as I can there's quite a lot to go through the next TI event is out diplomatic immunity already started what's different it's a 75 RQ it's voxel slash opal as your requirement and there are only three prizes up for grabs in terms of free play free ranks where you can come um, you have to come in the top 30 to be able to get the next prize car so congratulations cmg casual mobile gamer you did correctly identify that voxel could be the next brand because it has a couple of cars named after diplomatic positions with that said we're going to go in we're going to have a look at the deck that i'm running this is the deck i've decided to go with okay now my forenza isn't quite fully maxed and neither is my opal gt but i was trying this out in fact at the time neither was my voxel vx220 uh, i was trying to just see how i did to see if it was worth me investing in the cars for this event now my voxel malu i don't think i'm going to take any further at the moment i do have quite a few super rares so i don't mind upgrading it a bit more or even maxing it out it does have the medium ground clearance tag which is good for this event because there are a couple of city street levels but apart from that it does pretty much nothing you can see i've used it about 10 times in this event and i'd used it nine times before that in yeah coming up to a year 11 months so it's heavy it's not got a good top speed it's it's not got any handling it's not really a car which is going to do much apart from helping city streets and in this event so this is what i think i'm going to run with the best i can do without upgrading other cars i did start to work on the opal gt because originally i was using it but i think this is where i'm going to go so we're going to go we're going to go into a couple of races going to see how this does against other people i'm just going to go in and pick it i'm not going to try and be clever i'm just going to race through i would point out though for those people who are going to try and qualify for this titanium finals and need to get five of these jags in total yes we're all going to get our first one i think as the events progress the archy level is going to increase it looks like which means that the more experienced players are going to be able to use more of their garage so if you are a newer player with more limited garage you might think of investing in some of these cars now to try and get the jaggers in the early events because if you leave it to the end you could come up against some monster monster decks or garages now i'm not saying it is going to happen i don't know but it does look a little bit like that so with this you can see i'm missing some key cars this concept and this is it chevelle or chevette are two cars which a lot of people seem to be using and the opal manta now i do have these two i don't have this i had this voxel vetra and i fused it a long time ago and yeah i'm using the vx as well so I'm running with two cars that are going to be losers and hopefully three cars that are going to be winner. I have a medium clearance car with this and I have an amazing car for 6RQ. It's not even maxed out. This car is amazing, okay? I promise you, for 6RQ, ignore ignore the, the figures on it. Great little car to lose gracefully. And you'll see this here. So, how would I run this? Well, personally, what have we got? Um, I... I can win this and I need to I need to look really to win three don't I so I don't want to tie on the quarter mile that doesn't really help me I think I have to win the quarter mile to be honest with you I think I have to I think I have to hmm maybe i shouldn't have done it this way i can win the indoor karting and am i gonna get i'm gonna get more points off of here uh maybe i'll do the city streets medium and i'll take the two defeats like this okay so this is how i'm gonna run this i'm playing to try and win three of the matches and lose two of them which is why I have uh, that extra car in and as you see I've got the free victory so that is the aim for me here to try and move up into the top 30 I think I can do it I'll try and play these next matches a bit quicker uh, oh, I should really be looking you know I should be trying to find people that I know I can beat right 
same thing again so we've got the two city streets we've got the hairpin karting and fast circuit well the hairpin mode is a victory okay i know i win that i know i win that so that's a win uh i can take either of these two with both of these cars I can lose the karting circuit and I can lose the fast circuit. But I'm actually thinking to take the fast circuit with the maneuver, probably lose by a less here. Take on this and this. Here you go. This should do it. This should do it fine. So this should be about the same as last time, about 150 ish, maybe a bit more because this is going to win by more than 50. Oh no, it didn't. About 150 to 125, something like that. There we go. Happy days. Moves me up get the prize keep going again this is the reason why i'm not thinking of investing more in this maneuver i'm not going for, i'm not worried about getting top 10 i don't think i want to invest even if it is super rare cars into a car like this if i'm not going to be using it for now i might need to use it later on who knows so i might give it some love if i find myself struggling then oh this could be challenging then yeah again maybe i will upgrade it to give me that that extra that extra bonus of getting through now again we're going to take the victory here we're going to take what could be a victory here i don't know i'm gonna i want to i want to find this out um i wait up wait up wait up wait up wait up wait up yeah okay hopefully victory we're going to find out we're going to find out here um i'm going to see i'm going to see very quickly be interesting to know i want to see if this car can be it's not fully maxed out if it was then i'd possibly i would probably definitely win this one when it's got the last upgrade into it but for the moment let's just see let's just see okay so also hopefully this isn't too big of, uh, this is too big a defeat uh, it's bigger than i would have wanted needs its upgrade this is only a 50 win oh it's a little bit more Mm. oh dear oh we do just do it there we go there we go so that nova fully maxed out for seven rq still doesn't beat there you go doesn't beat the forenza so there's your evidence guys if you have the two cars um personally here you go still got the extra bit for the weight do the forenza over the nova gt um factionally better there you go so that that was a that was a fortunate victory obviously it could have been a bit closer with that upgrade to the opal um gt that i have and to that forenza now the last car last match let's push the boat out let's go up and see who's up here let's just this could be stupid let's just see let's see what we're up against okay quarter mile victory if i do this if i do this i can always reset it let's just see quarter mile victory um uh, 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 indoor karting is victory car park is defeat city streets medium is victory this is defeat i think this is going to be quite big i think it's going to be quite big to be honest with you i need the car park to be less than 70 good that's a start that's a start now i need this to be less than 100 go <laughs> 1700 overall be 170, so I'm around there. 177. I think I can do this. Oh, I don't get more than ah, okay. That would be close. Depending on the track set, that would be close. So we can we can go, we can finish those couple of upgrades, and I, I do think I can get top 30 there. Now, let's go back, fast forward, have a look at that TI with the Italian Renaissance and Great Exhibition currently in this fifth with six hours 50 minutes to go it's going to be tough if i end up staying in the top 10 i'm going to i'm going to try but i will be going to bed soon it is it is late here so the next hour or so is all i'm going to play in this um just a little little pointer if you haven't really worked out yet people when you're looking through the lists make a note when you come up against people okay when you go into play and you click go and it brings you your list make a note of the person that you come up against and make a note whether you win or not and if you can the track set but for the minimum just just it sounds horrible but if you find someone you can beat you just got to keep pounding them when you can okay simple tactics there is no point trying to feeling bad and trying to help out somebody you need you need to do as well as you can in these events 
to rank up you need to pick the people where they may be above you because they may get to play a lot they may find other decks which they can beat that you can't beat if you can beat them don't feel bad just go and beat them now my my team struggles with most of these because like here for example i can win both of these uh, i tie here lose here and i lose here and i don't win by i don't think i win by enough um this above is the bane of me um in the track it destroys me it absolutely kills me but i'm gonna i'm gonna try long time he's gonna beat me but in having this car in any of these twisty circuits which are made without the rain it is bad news for me uh, I, I get destroyed because i have I have feeder cars in there it ruins me so i know i win these two the twisty road is one that i'm gonna lose um I, i've played this before i know that that monza gsc beats my dedra i know that i know that so i think i'm gonna try and beat the lotus take the loss here and here and hope that is enough to get me through um so this is a big loss yeah uh yeah, I don't think 5th is really where I should be. I spent a lot of time around 10th, 9th, 8th, kind of there. Um, I, I think... Uh, I think the slightly more balanced approach is better here because there are one or two pretty good cars in the... in the... Um, oh, in the rare range, which can help you quite a bit, so... I just need to win this last match basically don't I so yeah maybe this kind of approach I'm going for isn't as set up for this event now don't get me wrong it's not bad because if I end up being in the top 10 then it's it's done what I wanted it to do and he said I've won this match um, because the track set favoured me there you do have to pay attention to the track set as well as the opposition but if there's somebody who just beats you no matter what track set just avoid them okay just avoid them simple as that so get cracking on those formula funds this will probably be over soon but maybe by the time you watch the video it's not essential decide here decide now if you're going to be getting this ti diplomatic immunity one decide if you want to get that if not or you think you're going to miss out studio ghibli big 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 clue here maserati now does that mean you're going to need ghibli's in it or not is it going to be maserati's we don't know but what you can do is what i started to do for example is go to your deck come down look at manufacturer single out maserati itself because they're definitely going to need some of those and see where you're working where you need to work kind of my, my deck isn't great yeah you can see this here it isn't good so hopefully it's going to be a lower rq car which means you can see here i'm doing some fuse into this ghibli cup car thinking that ghibli is going to be in the title is a good chance could need something the ss is already done the diesel I haven't worked on yet. I don't intend to work on it unless it's going to be useful for me because it's a low ground clearance car and I, I, I can't see myself using it very often to be honest with you. If it's medium then yeah fine an Italian Renaissance car medium ground clearance don't mind working on which is part of the reason. Uh, where is it? Where's the other car that I was talking about? Um, Oh, I can't remember. All right, here's the other Ghibli. So the Maserati SS Spider again. I wasn't using, but I am now going to be working on it to get it up and ready. It's a pretty good car. It's good, good drag. Oh, with a lot of these cars, I probably won't max them out yet. I'll wait till the event to start. So I'll invest some resources into them, so they're kind of ready to go near the start but i won't put the finishing touches until i know which cars i actually need i don't want to invest all my resources into a car to find out it's not even required um yeah i can't give you any more information at the moment i'm afraid people now i'm going to struggle here so i am tempted to invest in the italian renaissance pack um if you come into packs here you will see there is an italian renaissance pack this one guarantees you an ultra rare or better of a Lamborghini, a Maserati, and an Alfa Romero. Now, I don't really want an ultra rare Lamborghini. It would need to be epic or better. And I don't really need an ultra rare Maserati, to be honest with you. Unless I get an epic Maserati or an epic Lamborghini, then this, or better, 
this pack would probably be a fail for me and wouldn't be worth the money. Now, this voxel carbon fiber pack you can get if you are struggling in that voxel event. However, I would not recommend getting it. The reason why I would not recommend getting it is not because, excuse me, I've clicked on the whole thing, not because I don't agree with supporting Hutch, but because I don't think it's a carbon fiber that is really going to benefit you unless you're looking to specialize in voxel. So it has one S car, which is this Cadet Rally, which is a great, an off-road, a four-wheel drive off-road car. Lovely, okay? You can't, you can't complain with that. But that's the only one up there. And then as you start to look through and you look at the lower rank cars, the cars you're more, you're more likely to get, I've had this Vauxhall GTC and I've used it. It's got medium ground clearance, which is about all it's got going for it. Uh, it's nothing special. If anything, you say the same about the Extreme, that's a low clearance, no good. This car, if you've got the Opal Adam, you're probably quite happy. Is it sp particularly useful for a current event? No, not really, but it's it's a decent car and so is the Corsa Super 1600. But again, unless there's a future event where you're using off-road, these cars aren't gonna help you a huge amount for this, for this current event. The VX220 Turbo, I've had twice, I've fused both times. Uh, it looks like a good car, on paper decent car. It just, it just doesn't really do anything great, my opinion. It's not something you're gonna get and be happy with. And the same up here, the Insignia VXR Unlimited Performance Tires, four-wheel drive, there's so many better, better four-wheel drive performance tire cars out there than that. And again, the, the concept, um, it, it probably, I guess, would be slightly happier with this one because it's one RQ less and not really a lot worse. But yeah, wouldn't really recommend going into that Vauxhall carbon fiber unless you just want to pick up a couple of the other Vauxhall cars as well. You know, getting that super rare and getting that ultra rare would allow you to progress into the top 30, then by all means, Feel free to use your gold. I won't be going for it though. Now, with all that said, we do have the Sports RS01 qualifier going now. For those of you who don't know, this will be a special event car again for da -da 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 Renault. So where is Renault? Where are you, Renault? Come to daddy. Where are you, Renault? And bang, here we go. So here is the car. Not going to lie, I would like to have it. I don't mind if it has slick tires because it has beast-like handling. Yes, for an S-tier car, 186 top speed isn't amazing. And it is gonna be low ground clearance. The clearance is only really gonna be a track car. You can't use it in the brain, all that, but it is gonna be a great car for them. Those specific tracks that it's specializing because it is a light car, it's gonna be great around those fast circuits, twisty circuits, etc. Uh, well, can I get it though? I don't know to be honest with you. I really don't know. Now while we don't know what the requirements are going to be for the finals yet, we can see here by the fact that we have Bentleys as the prizes and Bentley carbon fibers, it is either going to be everyone gets two Bentleys guaranteed. It means that there's going to be some kind of Bentley requirement in the final. Okay, Bentleys are going to be needed for the final. Volkswagens are needed for the moment. They have a special Volkswagen carbon fiber pack out, which you can purchase. And again, it is, I say it's a slightly better pack than the Voxel one, but I would only invest in this pack if you have a lot of credits or for some reason you just don't have enough voxels because the top tier cars which you can get in here um as we look at them uh, you don't need that gti okay let's just forget that yep this gti t is a very very good car very very good car for 20 rq definitely worth it the rest of the cars are not worth it I promise you i'm not going to go into them none of them are particularly great uh, this car no good yeah pretty pretty bang average not a good car i know i've got it uh you saw this pulled this photo the other day nothing amazing there is nothing here which you really want i've had both this synchro and this arteon and i fused them both i just couldn't see me finding anywhere where i was really going to use them outside 
of a voxel only event i mean that 86 handing on this car to begin with it, it's just it just doesn't it doesn't put itself in a position where you're going to really use it it's a track car it just doesn't doesn't scream out please use me now if you're able to get this volkswagen golf gti you would be very happy it's a low a low car okay it's a low car low ground clearance but if you got that or what i would want this got volkswagen golf r 400 this is the car that i'd want to get this it would be your reason for opening this pack to hone in on your chance of getting this car and you might look at it and say it's only got 174 top speed from the s class car. granted yet yeah. 3.70 to 60 doesn't look great 85 handling doesn't look amazing but it does have four wheel drive when you come into it it has the medium ground clearance tag okay this becomes a city streets beast now your chance of pulling a legendary car s tier car here from these packs are 2.5 percent i believe in a carbon fiber pack i think they're the same for the special ones they a standard carbon fiber pack is 2.5 percent i think they're the same with these which means if i wanted to get this car I, in theory, would have a 1 in 40 chance if this was the only legendary car in the pack, but there's two. So I've got a 1 in 80 chance of getting the car that I want. Would I be upset if I got this, to much of you? No, I wouldn't. But there's one car here that I want from this whole pack. So yes, if you're going to get that R400, if you really want that car, if you're happy to invest and blow a few, blow a few of your coins on it, it's only going to get three chances to get it, then by all means, do go for it let's just have a look at it. I haven't actually gone into it yet I don't know what my deck is going to look like let's just let's just forget about all the requirements and that for now let's just throw in the voxels that I have um, I don't know if it's going to be wet or not uh, no idea no idea guys absolutely no idea let's just try this for now and then finally we need a German Renaissance car and not knowing the requirements well let's just let's just see let's just see okay all right well don't think the team I just picked is suited for this track set um yeah uh, crikey. Well, maybe some of those all-surfaced Volkswagen cars don't look so bad like that tall rag in that now. Um, personally, don't. Absolutely no chance. <laughs> I want it. Absolutely no chance I'm going to be investing just to get those cars. If you have any of them knocking around in your garage, then yeah, you may... You may choose to upgrade them uh, let's have a look let's have a look so um yeah this tiguan would be useful obviously um standard tires would be better i suppose than anything else I've, I've not got i've not i've not kept any of them i've literally not kept these, these cars are in here just to be as food most of them uh, i might even be upgrading this t-box it's cheap and easy just to just to put me at a slightly better in the in the rankings but I don't I don't think I'm gonna go ham in this because I clearly don't have the deck to do well so I'm just gonna sit on the outskirts see what happens um, I'm not too worried about any of those Bentleys because if we do come to my car collection I think I've got a few Bentleys already that I can work on uh, so yeah having the Bentley Bentayaga and this flying spur uh, I've almost maxed out the Bentley Brooklands. Um, yeah, I've got I've got a few Bentleys that I can work on. So getting tier one, tier two, it isn't going to be as crucial for me. And I've got this Miscellane Grand Limousine, Limousine, which is also up for grabs. So I'm probably going to sit this one out. Might actually have to start investing. Oh, so many cars to start working on. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Thank you for watching everyone. Let me know how you're getting on with the diplomatic community, what kind of deck you're running, and what you think about the Ghibli one going to be re released soon. Uh, good luck in this. 
it's not going to be as easy as it looks. I think I'm going to be fortunate enough to finish in the top 30. Let me know how you're getting on. If you're in my 100, my group of 100, yeah, let me know in the comments below. If I beat you, I may try and not attack you, okay? And if you destroy me, please let me go once in a while. You know, don't just focus me. With all that said, I've been my time. Thank you very much. If you've liked and enjoyed this video, please let me know by replying in the comment, leaving a thumbs up, leaving a like, and I will be back again when the Ghibli event comes out and to show you my future progress on this TI Diplomatic Immunity event. So good luck, everyone. See you all soon.